Previously in the last video we tore down this xyloband, um, this is the cover here, this xyloband um, flashing wristband that um, people that attended the Coldplay concert wore and it all flashed in time and was we found out that it was controlled by this this IC here that is the um, radio frequency um, interface uh, chip now we were looking at these debug interfaces here to see if we could tap into any of these debug interfaces and find um, and find a way to maybe download the program and um, decompile the program and look into that probably not decompile because I'm not sure the legal implications of that but it was looking into primarily plugging some sort of um, FTDI um, serial interface into into this IC primarily which is the microcontroller this one being the radio um, frequency uh, interface chip um, and what I found out after some investigation is that this microcontroller is has actually its own proprietary debug um, pins what are these pins here so VDD and ground and then it actually uses um, silicon labs um, two wire debug interface so that's what these four pins here um, have been brought out to so I can only presume that some sort of flying probe will come along connect up to these four um, pads and enable the programming and debugging of this IC which begs the question if we flip this board over what this MISO MOSI serial clock IRQ select pin arrangement does now it looks like these three pins come up to to these wires here and if we flip the chip over a quick tip also is that when you're flipping boards around and checking um, where wires lead I've actually just wrapped a little bit of a uh, small gauge wire here and what that allows me to do is say that one two three four five pins here on the bottom on the same plane that this um, small gauge wire is attached to so when I flip the board over I don't have to worry about if I flipped it this way or if I flipped it that way I can just flip the board over and know that the three wires that we just investigated here one two three are going to be these three wires here one two three because we've got this small gauge wire down here what's interesting um, these three wires are brought out to to this IC what makes me think that or makes me know <laughs> that this has some sort of serial interface now I've been thinking of ways that I can I can kind of debug this and reverse engineer this this board um, I'm not really that tempted to go for this at the moment this will require a proprietary programmer um, to try and reverse engineer that and I'm not really in the position or that interested in buying the proprietary debug controller to debug this chip potentially in the future if that's the only viable option we can we can kind of hit these debug pins and go directly to the microcontroller what I am interested in doing though is investigating this TX and RX and also investigating this serial interface here that goes directly to this radio controller chip potentially what we may be able to do and in a, in a simple world this is what I'm hoping is that this chip actually has some IO pins some pins that um, can be enabled high or enabled low etc what I'm actually hoping is that when this receives a when this receives a kind of message over its 
um, specified radio frequency when it receives its packet of data communications it actually just rises a pin providing 5 volts across here so 3.3 volt because this is all 3 volt logic here so um, it will provide it will rise a pin here that will then make this IC um, start flashing the LEDs connected here actually it was connected there I'm going to have to resolder that wire back on same for this side um, but it will allow this it will allow a pin to raise here what will then kind of kick the program off potentially one of the other options that we could potentially go with is this solder pad here this solder switch this solder jumper that looks like it's hooked up to GPIO2 I'm not sure but potentially shorten that will pull that pin down to ground because this is a ground plane here and actually enable that chip to go into some sort of debug mode where these will flash so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look into and I'm probably going to create a new video for this I just thought I'd do a quick update video now I'm going to start looking into um, logic analyzers and logic sniffers that will allow me to um, hook onto these pins here and also sniff the um, FTDI data coming off of these pins um, I found quite a nice package and I'm going to create a video about that um, specifically for that but it involves turning an Arduino into an Arduino sorry, into a low cost and not amazing but I'm hoping that it will be able to do the job logic analyzer that I'll detail further in the video but potentially that's what we can use to debug this keeping our costs low tune into the next video where we'll be in a position to have a logic analyzer logic sniffer that we can connect up to these pins and start seeing some serial data going between this IC and this IC hopefully that serial data we may then be able to emulate through our own microcontroller and actually get this band working again please feel free to leave a comment in the um, comments below um, and don't forget to, to subscribe to uh, be updated when I release a new video in this series of uh, reverse engineering this Xyla band cool catch you soon bye